Morning all, Fictionality here. It is currently 6.17am and time for some hobby. Okay, so, as you can see from yet, uh, over yesterday, this little undead horde, if you can call it that at the moment, has grown a little bit. I've got my hex wraiths done, I've got 10 skeletons and 10 ghouls all ready to go. Now, they did take a little longer than I expected. Now, the main reason for that is probably with the skeletons. Uh, with any model, really, you're going to get uh, mold lines and everything through it. And if you're using a lot of techniques that I'll be using, such as shades and dry brushing, any mold lines that are left over, you're going to really, really uh, end up seeing and they'll stand out and just you'll have these big horrible lines all over the models and that's something that I really want to avoid so I figure I'll take a bit of extra time cleaning them so that I can save time later on. Well, that's the theory anyway. Ah, yes, yeah, so I had a lot of fun with these guys here. The Hex Wraiths in particular, they're a little bit fiddly at times but, I mean, the models just look fantastic. Um, so... Yeah, yeah, a lot of fun was had for them. Um, hmm, yeah, I'll give you a bit more of a look at that. I'll try and hold it out in focus because my camera doesn't have the greatest level of focus. But yeah, I've, I was considering how to paint these guys up. The first idea that I had was keeping it similar to what they have on the box art. And and just replacing the robe colours with, um, I think I'll be doing kind of like a, a worn out blue sort of colour. But then again I thought, oh I don't really have many sort of ethereal things in my army and it would be good to paint them up to make them look a little more ghostly. So I think that I will go with a more ghost colour scheme over the entire model and that should tie it in with the base of the Mortis engine and so I have a couple of things that have that sort of eerie, uh, sort of whitish glow to them, which should be good. Yeah, yeah, so I think the main sort of goal for today is to get more skeletons done because I've done 10, there is still 30 more to go, and they seem to to take up quite a bit of my time yesterday, so I really need to get a move on with them. And then on, oh, and then tomorrow I should be able to start getting some undercoats on everything and start painting them up. Uh, unfortunately, I won't be able to start doing the bases. Generally speaking, I'll always paint up the bases and things first. I, I, I generally like taking quite a bit of time with them. This is, I'll try and bring up a couple of bases that I've done in the past, just testing out uh, color schemes and stuff like that. This is that. This one here has got some uh, like little wood chip parts on it. Nice little cork base there, and uh, using some of the grass tufts along with the wood chips. And this was just a whole heap of little tests that I did to try and find what I like for a different army that I was working on but these guys I'm actually thinking that using the the new paints that will be coming out this weekend which are the new technical paints in particular the, the crackled mud and so if I can actually have crackled mud all over the the bottom of these bases here and then get some like, uh, Mordheim tufts think it is. They're the kind of a little more washed out brown sort of clumps of grass and stick them on the base and that should be a really quick way of getting these up to a finished standard rather than my usual usual sort of attempt at putting down some some rocks and then some grass or some cork or whatnot and then painting it up with the model. So hopefully that should save me some time. And yeah, yeah, I think after after I get through a whole heap of skeletons, I'll probably find myself a, a nice big model or even uh, this guy here, which is the Necromancer. Really looking forward to that. These, 
the new plastic sort of hero kits in general uh, just seem really great. I, I there are a couple like the Skink Priest and the uh, what is it the Bray Shaman are uh, some of the models that I really like and would just feel like getting at some point and just painting them up. But yeah, the only the only real sort of thing that I'm worried about here is what to do with the base because everything else will be on the crackled mud uh, how well the crackled mud will go over the top here and still leave me with the skeleton or whether or not I need to just get him on a different base altogether but I'll I'll experiment with that and see what happens so yes uh, lots of skeletons today and then hopefully move on to something big in the afternoon as kind of like a little bit of a reward and yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll get back to you tomorrow and you can check how I've gone. Cheers, I'll catch you all then. Don't forget to uh, do the whole subscribe, like, comment, all that sort of stuff. Always useful and I'll see you later on. Cheers.